Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday. I'm here with my first uh, Lego Life on Mars review for Throwback Thursdays, which I will do for a few Throwback Thursdays in this part of the rotation. But yeah, so this will be on a uh, Red Plan Cruiser, and also, as you heard on as the title suggests, is also the model jet from 2001, of course. So. Start out with the only box entry I have for it is for the Red Plan Cruiser, and sorry about the fading and writing on it, because that's just how I got it off Bricklink, but yeah. So on the front of it, you have the Lego logo, the Life on Mars logo, and the uh, the silhouette of Mars there uh, as the box border, and recommended ages is 7 through 12, set number is 7311, and has 73 pieces and picture of it of the set jumping around Mars of course top part which has the main figure Altar Altair yeah it's a nice graphic design let's see extension of the artwork of course and on the back is Lego and the older slogan just imagine and also the showing the folding of the set and alternate build of the set of course set number again and yeah <clears throat> and now onto the uh, instruction manual which same picture is on the front of the box and everything and on the back add of some of the other life on Mars sets which some of which I will also be reviewing for throwback Thursdays and then just the last building steps And also with this, get this little mini po special advertising mini poster of it. Which, as you see, oh, it's advertising pretty much all, or most of the Life on Mars sets there, and new 2001, of course. And you see, like, Studios, and of course, uh, Racers, or Racers Exalix line, of course, which, one of the big... Uh, failures from them, of course. And on the back is free Lego catalog thing, early Star Wars, this and that, and of course Knights Kingdom One and Alpha Team, and of course Toamata of Bonacle, of course, yeah. Now on to the two mini figs of the set. Let me zoom in and focus. So like first off we have uh, the astronaut assistant for the monojet and Altar or for the Red Planet Cruiser of course. So as you see for the Prince of this one, of which done pretty well, and also Pfizer piece, which they did come in some classic space sets and things, which, or I mean later space sets from the time, and take this off, and you can see the face print of which done pretty well, like has some glasses and the com link there, of course. And also on the back, no back torso printing since it's an older figure, of course. And as for all atar, which, as you just like all the portions in this way, or in this line, of course, which, as you see, are comprised of five different pieces, like mostly the body piece and the arms reused from battle droids in oftentimes teal or in other different colors, of course, and whereas the legs and the uh, head are were just for this specific theme, of course. But, of course... Although the body and arms, which you can definitely use for some custom special battle droids and things. And, and although the arms, the legs of which, which so they do move quite well. So again, in the sit down and everything. I think that is it with the mini figs of this set. And now on to the monojet, of course. So 
something as you can see oddly made and kind of weird proportional like as he does have the old time jet engine piece from most classic space sets and also on it are these uh, one by two plates that have some interesting printing on them kind of neat to know and as you have in the middle of which is this little uh, wheel piece which one other side of this line also well does and does roll pretty well put onto the other side of which I see just a large plate and some jacket slope so, and also uh, what's oftentimes used for a remote piece would also use as like the uh, canopy part or I mean cockpit part of it and it has four loose studs that you can sit your mini pig onto of course And those upper part of which, which is, as you see, mostly on, or it's all on this single in coming in kind of plate there, with a uh, a light blue jacket slope there, and also a rod with a dish on it. And I'm not sure what for, but whatever. You see, quite simple in things that it could be, but yeah. And now on to the Red Planet Cruiser. Which, as you can see, quite an interesting, unique uh, vehicle it is about how for being around on Mars and things. But as you saw on the box picture, it was like hopping, probably since there was probably less gravity on Mars, of course. But yeah. And of course, it has four different points of movement. And with and of course done with the ratcheted joints there. And, and as you can see, it does have one of those aunt plates on there, which they kind of did use with like first Millennium Falcon and whatnot. And of course, with and also does have the jagged slopes in sand green. So there's a little bit of sand green on this set. As for the upper area, part of which, which does have those on pieces in both uh, dark light gray and sand green, of course, and a couple of the usual pistol blaster pieces from other classic space sets, but with a uh, cone, with the cone pieces on. Uh, hang on. Oops. Which actually are the older style trans orange a little brighter than most of which quite nice to see and also on the back part of the leg it was this odd tile piece not sure what it's representing but whatever and also what I would have to assume what this uh, part for is so you can hold on to it and imagine how it's jumping and of course and as for the central part of which which does have a couple more of those like ratcheted joint pieces well well one of which does have older style uh, lever piece not sure what for and also the old dish piece in trans orange of course and also the main center part of which which is enough space where you can stand your altar or minifig on to and also bring this controller pad control pad up to which quite interesting prints to it like as you can see with some, like dots on it and everything and also of course two spaces where you can clip his hands bound weighted hands onto of course <coughs> as for this upper part of which kind of miscellaneous with like inverted jagged slopes and curved slopes of course and uh, yeah so for the final verdict so overall these I think are a quite good uh, pair of sets for the theme, this theme of course like of course get some vehicle that is kind of a hopper and also one that has like a wheel in the middle of it, which kind of unique and all, but at least 
but also both of these do provide as good parts packs, like do you get a good amount of jagged slopes and classic space engine and of course a few sand green uh, slopes of course, and yeah. It's although, but although they were quite good for the low price point that they were, like, even though they may be a lot more with, you know, inflation and all, but yeah. And if any of y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.